Hello everyone. In this video, we will understand about accumulation factor. Again, let us consider a timeline. Consider this as time T1, this as time T2. Let's say uh, our value accumulated till time T1, V, V suffix T1, this one V suffix T2. I mean, at the time T1, the accumulated value is V suffix T1. At time T2, the accumulated value is V suffix T2. Then, the accumulation factor between T1, comma, T2 is given by A within brackets T1 comma T2 is nothing but value at the time T2 divided by accumulated value at the time T1. So that is the definition for accumulation factor. Suppose if this T1 is now means time T1 is 0 and T2 let us say it is nth period then our timeline will have like this, 0 and n. This will be your present value. This will be your accumulated value. And in this case, when you have like this, we can write it as a 0 comma n because t1 is getting replaced. This t1 is getting replaced with 0. t2 is getting replaced with this n. And whenever you have 0 and n, we can simply write it as a of n. Instead of writing 0, comma n, we can simply write it as a of n. Now, accumulated value then will be present value multiplied by a 0, comma n, or we can simply say present value multiplied by the accumulated factor of n at n. And we know in case of simple interest, accumulated value is nothing but PV times 1 plus Ni. We had already seen. That means our accumulated factor, that is An, is nothing but 1 plus Ni in case of simple interest. Similarly, in case of compound interest, we had seen earlier that the accumulated value will be present value times 1 plus i to the power of n, which means our accumulator, accumulative factor in case of compound interest is nothing but 1 plus i to the power of n. Based on this logic, AAN is actually getting uh, replaced here with 1 plus Ni. That means this A, A of N is 1 plus Ni. Similarly, here, this A of N is getting replaced with 1 plus I to the power of N. So in case of compound interest, accumulation factor is 1 plus I to the power of N. Now, let us do one question related to this. say example an investment of rupees one zero three thousand means one lakh three thousand accumulates to Rupees two five seven five hundred two lakh fifty seven thousand five hundred. Okay, what is the first question? Calculate the simple annual 
interest rate that would that would give the accumulation factor actually i should have written one more question before this let me put that as one this as two first question is calculate the accumulation factor that is the first question then in the second question calculate the simple annual annual interest rate that would give the accumulation factor in the first part okay then third question calculate the annual compound interest rate that would give the accumulation factor the accumulation factor as in this part one so three questions now let us proceed first one we are supposed to calculate accumulation factor so accumulation factor they didn't specify that uh, clearly just a moment An investment of rupees one zero three triple zero accumulates to so and so in five years. That is not specified. Okay, so calculate the accumulation factor when they say accumulation factor. Now I should consider it as a zero comma five. Okay, so first problem is to find out what is a zero comma five, which is nothing but value at time five, value at time zero, which is. Two five seven five hundred divided by one zero three triple zero. So if we calculate this, we get exactly two point five. This is can also be written as a five because zero comma n is a of n. So I can write that. Second part of the question. We know what is the question. Calculate the simple annual interest rate. That would give the accumulation factor in one. Means we have a phi as two point five. What we are supposed to find to find what is i. To find what is i. Now we have accumulation factor is equated to one plus. Ni. Why I wrote one plus Ni? Because in case of simple interest, accumulation factor is one plus Ni. So I wrote one plus Ni, and we know n is phi. So one plus phi i. This is can be equated to two point phi, which means phi i equal to two point phi minus one or one point phi, which means i is one point phi divided by phi. That will give you. Point three or thirty percent per annum. That is the second part of the question. Now the third part. Third question is calculate the annual compound interest rate. That would give the accumulation factor again. This is two point five. Now it is equated to the accumulation factor based on compound interest. So it should be one plus i to the power of n because for a compound interest the accumulation factor is 1 plus i to the power of n i am equating that that is again 1 plus i to the power of phi which means 2.5 is 1 plus i to the power of phi taking to the power of 1 by phi on both sides we have 
2.5 to the power of 1 by 5 equal to 1 plus i to the power of 5, the whole thing to the power of 1 by 5. Now I can cancel this and this. We get what? We get i equal to 2.5 to the power of 1 by 5 and bring that negative 1 to the other side, it becomes, sorry, positive 1 to the other side becomes negative 1. And if we calculate this, we get 0 0.20112, which is nothing but 20.112 percentage. So that is the solution for this particular example. In case if you find the contents of this video to be useful to you, I request you to please like it, share it with your friends and also subscribe to my channel. Thank you.